You're watching IT Pro TV. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cool Features Windows 10. Mike Roderick here with Mr. Adam Gordon, and we're going to be covering some new things that are available uh, in Windows 10. So, Adam, what'd you find for us this time? So, you know, we've been rummaging around that big box we keep uh, behind us there, and we actually found a really cool one. This is, I thought, one of the more innovative ones. And, you know, it's interesting because this is like a hidden gem. It's been there for some time, but I didn't know about it. I didn't and know about when it When I either. talked to you about it, you didn't know about it. And most people that I mentioned this to are like, wow, we didn't know. Not only didn't know that you could do this with Windows, but we've been going to like other software <laughs> right. platforms to do this, and it's nowhere near as cool. Yeah. So this is even better that it's built in. You probably just want me to shut up and tell you what it is. So let's take a look. I'm talking <laughs> about Microsoft Maps, which on the surface probably doesn't sound like a cool thing, let alone a new thing, and it's not new. But boy, is it cool. So let me just show you where to find this first, and then we're going to go ahead and bring it up. I've already got it open. But in case you're not familiar with it, I'm just going to scroll down. It's built right in, so you're going to see it in your pick list alphabetically there uh, inside of your navigator. So maps. So let's assume we've just clicked on that. And it comes up looking like every other map program in the world, right? Wow, Nothing Adam, that, different. That's, that, that's really cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Got a bunch of streets and uh, <laughs> looks like a highway. All right, so the center dot there represents um, my current location, our studios here in Gainesville. And in case you're not familiar with the tool, let me just point out a couple of things, because every one of these is a little bit different. Sometimes you start the tool, and more often than not, it'll come up with the center, where are you, this is your location. Uh, bullseye, right? Already prevalent there and uh, available. But I've noticed that sometimes it doesn't. So this little navigation feature picker on the right allows you to ping that map and put that on just by hitting that button and specifying that you want it there. And you can see as I click, it adds more details for things like you know, locations for food and gas and just all sorts of other stuff. The Home Depot apparently is just mm -hmm. down the street from us. All right. So we can put that on there if we need to. Now, using the maps feature, like I said, by itself, not innovative, not new, but what you can do with it is really cool. Now, I mentioned getting directions. So obviously we wanna know how to do that. And you can do this the traditional way. Mm -hmm. This icon right up here, at the upper right, or upper left, excuse me, right above search, you'll see that it allows me to be able to go in and bring up an interface for directions. And like any other uh, map site or, or you know direction app, whatever it may be, you can put in where you want to go from and where you want to go to. And notice, you know, good planning, your location item is always top, front and center. So you could start right from where you are. You don't have to type it in. I don't like that on, you know, some of the others where you have to actually type in, right. you know, that just, uh, that's just not real where I am. You right, because a lot of times right? I don't know, like I may be in the middle of somewhere and I'm not sure where yeah. I am. Right. I don't know, because, you know, if I knew, I wouldn't probably need directions <laughs> to get from where I am to where I'm going. And so then with destination, you know, it has some, pre-made uh, options based on what's on the map or maybe places I've been before. So let's just say hypothetically, I wanna go to whatever this location is. I can just type that in and I can click at directions and it does its thing. It zooms out, gives me a nicer view, great. Gives me the directions, turn by turn, awesome. I can share them built right in, pretty easy. I can print them, I can pin them. Gives me the visual. I can kind of, you know, hover over the points of interest. It tells me where each of those direction elements is in terms of the turn by turn just looking, mm -hmm. which is good, but I can't do this when I'm driving, obviously. So that may or may not be helpful <laughs> unless someone's navigating with me, but still good. And I can scroll down here and I can see all these right here and I can see kind of where I wind up, right? So that's all good, but that's kind of just generic. It does give me the amount of time I think it'll take. I can share it right out of here preparing to share, this is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. We'll give that just a second. Allows me uh, to get a little item here. It says, hey, you know, share these. Uh, either tap someone who you may want to share or select to turn on nearby sharing. And yeah, you know, gives you options. We've talked about the your phone feature mm -hmm. in other episodes where we talked about how to link that. For instance, still no luck with that on the, uh, the iOS. The alternative platform yes. you choose to use, is no. there? <laughs> Nothing. You, Android is the way of the future, I'm just telling you. It All is. right, so things like OneNote, Mail, et cetera, right? So we get a variety of things. So that's nice, and that's all good. And we can, of course, go in. Uh, we can print that out. We can pin it. We can actually overlay here as well, transit, and also walking. You'll like those features that if we're going to walk or we're going to use transit, a right. bus, or something like that, we get alternate times, right? So those things are cool. And we also here get the ability to look at departure time options as well as settings. 
So, you know, just the details alone are actually pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But this is not the thing that I thought was really, really neat. So let's actually just reset this. Let me get rid of this tab. And let's come over here because I want to show you something else. And so I'm going to hover over the little what looks like a pen with a little squiggly line, the drawing or the ink space icon up at the upper right. And when I do that, I'm gonna get a set of little selector items right there. I got a highlighter, which obviously is valuable. I've got the ability to use a ruler if I wanna maybe space some things out, things like that. But the thing I found that I thought was really cool is that I can, even without the ability to draw on the screen using, uh, let's say a traditional touch screen, because I don't have that. I don't have a capacitive touch screen. I just have a normal screen. I can still use this feature to draw a line between two points, have it snap, and then automatically program really? in those directions for me. So oh, I thought okay. this was actually pretty cool. Yeah, I want to see this. So I'm going to go over here, right? And you'll see, I'm going to hover. It's still got the same icon for directions, uh, the little, what looks like a right turn, you know, kind of a street sign right there. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to click there. And what I'm going to do is the following. Uh, let's say, and I'm going to zoom and just give Mike an option here to see the, uh, the map a little bit, pick two points. I already mm -hmm. have a sense of where he's going to start from, I'm thinking. Right. I see one of your favorite places in the world right there by Walgreens. Oh, yeah, so, Taco Bell. That's where so we, we got to go. So we have Taco right? Bell. we got some other stuff. So <laughs> let's say you want to typically, let's say just Taco Bell be our starting point. Pick something at the lower right, like Claire's or something. Uh, so we yeah, absolutely. Claire's works for me. All right, so let's, let's go from Taco Bell, kind of in red there, mm -hmm. uh, towards right up to the uh, high side of West Newberry, and then lower right down there by the Oaks Mall, we'll go to Claire's, one of the stores that's uh, actually inside the mall, right? So I'm going to go from Taco Bell, and notice I'm drawing a line, and I'm going to just draw to this, like, ridiculous, looping, <laughs> crazy curve. I haven't let go yet. I'm going to let go in a minute, right? And when I do that, watch what happens, okay? It straightens it out for me, nice. sets the directions up, programs them in, makes that line nice so I can see exactly where I would travel, and does all that for me automatically. That is cool. That is pretty That's cool, really I think. Cool. I, mm -hmm. I actually like that a lot uh, because, you know, I often find myself, again, I don't often find myself with my computer open in a car with the ability mm -hmm. to do this, but I do find myself before I'm going somewhere right. wanting to figure this out, having to go to the site that shall not be named on the web, we all <laughs> yes, know, uh -huh. and being frustrated uh, by having to figure out how to put direction, addresses in, like we discussed, things like that. It's not as easy of an interface to use. This is actually really intuitive. Well, and you travel a lot, so you're in new areas where you might not be as familiar with the area, but you know there's a certain building you want to go to or a restaurant you want to look for. And before you jump in the car, how easy is it to just pull this up or switch it to the walking directions, and that would work just as well. It would. And, and you, you just know, the point nice to them on the map, and it figures it out for you. And if you use the Your Phone feature, you could send this to your phone, like you saw. We could, so we could actually have this, nice. right, if you are walking, mm -hmm. right? You know, do that. Uh, and, you know, we have a variety of other apps on phones we could do this yeah. with, right? You have Waze, for instance, you have a variety of things. But, you know, this is just a cool option, but it's yes. kind of been hiding in plain sight this whole time. Now, that's just not it. That's cool, really? but we're not quite done yet. So but wait, there's let, more. There's more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me just right-click. I'm right-clicking somewhere on the line just to tell you what's happening because you don't really see me right-clicking. So I'm right-clicking anywhere on my direction line between my two points, and notice the menu options that just came up directions, to here, from here, drop a pin. I can also get, although I already have the kind of what's nearby stuff on, but I can see what's nearby. But I can jump to a midway point and say, you know what? I just want to, you know, perhaps go give or take yeah, approximately here. And I want to be able to do the, uh, the directions. There we go. Uh, from here. And it will automatically take hmm. that as my starting point. You can see it programmed it in and let me then go somewhere else, right? I don't know wherever else I'd want to go if we just choose something. And then it'll just reroute me. I don't know where I'm going. It'll just <laughs> reroute me the other side of town, wherever that is. Uh, and it will let me go uh, and see how that's done. So it's really well thought out, really interactive. I like that a lot. I think that's kind of cool. Perfect are, for those of you that get distracted halfway on your trip and decide to go somewhere ooh, else. And, let's go over there. Hey, yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> or you just want to play a trick on somebody and totally <laughs> distract them. There are a lot of other neat features buried in the tool uh, menus here. We're not going to go into all of them, but I just wanted to show you. I thought this was one of the more compelling ones. 
The other thing is, you know, you'll see that under settings, right? I love this. Avoid ferries when driving you know, <laughs> and or unpaved roads and uh, moto rail because, you know, motor you don't want to run yeah. into a moto rail while you're driving. Definitely not. But you could actually toggle on these under settings, say, oh, go around maybe toll roads, mm -hmm. which, you know, is probably a good thing to know how to do. Unpaved roads would probably be good to avoid as well, unless For we're sure. off-roading. I don't think there's any unpaved roads between Taco Bell and Claire's, though. Hopefully I think, not. I think Hopefully we're not. pretty good on that but, but I do know people that, that don't like highways, for example. They get nervous. They do not like driving on them. And for the ability to quickly change that to say, hey, you know what? I can show you how to get there without ever having to set foot on a highway. That's handy. Pretty cool. Yeah. So I'm going to give this one two thumbs up on my end because, you know, we've been doing that in Radium. You know, uh -huh. uh, we will. I think this is one of the cooler ones we found, personally. I will give it two thumbs up as well. So four uh, thumbs up and uh, <laughs> uh, attaboy. All right, so good job, Microsoft, on this one. Remember, if you have some cool new features you either want us to talk about, you're aware of, we haven't highlighted yet, or you found a thing nobody else in the world knows about, drop us a line. We'll put them on the show, and we'll even give you credit for it and uh, let everybody know where we got them from. We got a whole big box of stuff back there. We're going to come back with some more, so stay tuned. A lot of cool new features left to go. Thank you for watching IT Pro TV.